Greetings guys, girls and non-binary pals and welcome back to another video. I hope that you are well and I hope that you are fighting because there is a lot to be fighting for. As usual, there'll be a link in the description to the page on my website with a bunch of petitions, donations, emails to send to MPs, etc, etc. Now today we are going back through one of our favourite reddits. It's one of the, the favourite reddits of this channel that I love to go through because there are so many things to talk about and that is r slash bad woman's anatomy because there are a lot of people who just do not understand how the female body works and it is both very amusing and very concerning. So we're gonna go through that and we're just gonna chat. We're gonna talk about it. Before we get into it, I would like to take a moment to say a massive thank you to today's sponsor, Adam and Eve. If you aren't aware, Adam and Eve is a huge online retailer sex shop and they sell a whole range of different brands and different toys for all different body types. And I just think that it's really, really cool. As you know, I am a huge advocate for body positivity and sex positivity. And I was really excited that they wanted to work with me because I think that they're an amazing retailer and they have so many options for so many different people. And another thing I really, really love about them as 20% of all profit goes towards ending the spread of HIV worldwide. And I think that that is a really cool and really important thing. And I'm just really stoked <laughs> to be working with them. And the best part about it is that if you go to adamandeve.com and use the code KIWI, you get 50% off one item as well as free shipping to everywhere in the US and Canada. So that's really, really cool. Thank you so much, Adam and Eve. I love you. <laughs> and it also fits very, very well with today's video. So let's, let's dive into it. Let's talk about women's bodies a little bit, shall we? Starting off strong with actually no, if a girl is on a bad dragon every day and using a vibe or wand all the time, it will be 100% their fault as to why they can't come with an anatomically correct male. Honey, that is not that is not how it works. Firstly, what's an anatomically, a, a little bit better. I can't talk today. What is an anatomically correct male? Like that's, that's not a thing. Everyone's anatomy is different. You can be a male with a vagina and there's no anatomically correct way to exist as your gender. That's just not true. I am assuming that you mean person with a penis, right? That's what that's what you're implying because you're transphobic. I'm imagining that's what you're implying. And I think that that's very, very funny because to me that also sounds like you're implying that cis men can't make women come, but women, they can. Women, trans men, they can make a woman come, which to me is sort of saying that men don't know what they're doing, cis men. Clueless. And you know, I have to agree. <laughs> a majority of women cannot orgasm from penetration alone. That's not how anything works. It's, that's just the way it goes. You need, you, you need aid. You need more than that. And a lot of cis men aren't willing to listen to that or put in the effort. So that's your fault. The vibrators get the job done without complaining and being whiny about it. So that's why a lot of the time you know, we prefer them. <laughs> I just found out that Plan B is $7 at Costco, no membership. So retweet to save a life. More like take a life. Preventing life is just about the same thing to me. Hence, more like technical dummies. If preventing a life is as bad as taking a life, to me, that implies that you think jerking off is as bad as stabbing someone because that's a potential life there. All plan B does is stop a pregnancy from occurring, which is the same as like wearing a condom or taking birth control. I I think a lot of people don't understand what plan B is. Uh, it literally is just preventing the pregnancy from occurring. It is preventing fertilization. Uh, no, it's not. The more girls masturbate, the longer they last during sex. So if she never masturbated before, she's not gonna last very long. You're so misinformed, it hurts. Girls are more likely to come if they masturbate often and know what they like. That's great if they know what they like, but guys aren't mind readers to do that. Also, girls use toys that guys can't compete with. So if a girl gets used to that toy, which they do, they don't come as fast. This is an important note that I have talked about in a video before. Toys 
And partners are not in competition. They are not competition because they are not the same thing. They are two very different things. It's like chocolate and ice cream, right? They aren't competing. I enjoy chocolate and I enjoy ice cream and they're amazing together as well, but they aren't competing with one another. You can have them individually or together and they're incredible together. Toys are AIDS or they can be AIDS. They are not a competition. One thing with masturbation is it allows you to figure yourself out and figure out your body and learn what you like so you can communicate that to your partner. No one is expecting a partner to be a mind reader. You just have to listen to what your partner is saying and have a discussion and a conversation. You can bring toys into partnered sex and that can enhance pleasure. They exist to enhance pleasure. They aren't a competition. Surely you want your partner to enjoy intimacy to the maximum capacity and you can do that by introducing toys. And that's a discussion that a lot of people don't want to have because they feel like they're in competition. But you aren't in competition. You can have one or the other or both. And I know I've said that multiple times but I really think I have to keep hammering that in because a lot of people are scared of that and you shouldn't be scared of that. You shouldn't be scared of that at all. It, there's a difference between being with a person and using a toy. There's a difference between masturbating and having partnered sex. They aren't comparable. They are two different things. Also, toys don't desensitize you. That is a myth. That is not a thing that happens. That was a thing created to guilt trip women. Like that That was made up by men. That's not a thing. So please don't worry about it. That, that doesn't exist. You don't get desensitized over time from using toys. That's not how it works. Moral of the story, buy vibrators from adamandeve.com, code Kiwi. <laughs> there is a deodorant ad, natural deodorant for all of your parts, including private parts. Please do not perfume your vaginas. Please do not do that. There is a very sensitive pH balance down there that you do not want to throw off because that can lead to infection. Also, don't put soap in your vagina because that also can lead to infection. And I think a lot of people do that and it's really bad. So please don't, you, you, your vagina is self-cleaning. It's fine. Don't, don't touch it. Well, do touch it, but like, don't put things, don't put things in it that's, you know? Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, please be careful and d don't, don't feel self-conscious about the way your vagina smells. The only time you should worry about how it smells is if there's like a drastic change in smell and then you might want to go to a doctor because that could be an infection and I think that we need to be aware of that and just, yeah okay it's said that about 90% of women masturbate without any penetration at all but it doesn't matter how often these women masturbate and if they consider orgasm sexual pleasure important in life I think for most women masturbation isn't a physical instinct but just a fad they picked up from friends or the internet and they try it out for a while until they get bored and move on to some other hobby. That may explain why the vast majority of women are the loss of the clitoris. There are so many posts about masturbation on here today. <laughs> there are so many which is very very fitting but like I just think that it's very funny that it worked out this way. <laughs> the idea that men hold that women don't experience sexual arousal to the same degree as them is so strange and also very creepy. Like they're like women don't experience arousal. Women women aren't like sexual beings. Then why why do you want to have sex with us so bad? Like are you saying that you want to have sex with people who don't enjoy it and who don't want to do it? Because that's terrifying and really scary. That's the same thing, but you know what I mean. And believe it or not, people don't tend to do things that they don't enjoy. I don't know why you're like, ah, uh, women don't actually enjoy masturbation. They just think that they do. Why are there so many sex toys and sex shops that are marketed towards vaginas if we didn't enjoy it? Like, why would that, why would that exist? It wouldn't exist. No one is spending like hundreds of dollars on things to enhance pleasure if they don't experience pleasure or they don't enjoy it. You know, like it doesn't, it doesn't make very much sense. It also sounds to me like you have never pleasured a woman before because you're like, women don't, they don't experience pleasure. They, they don't have sex drives. It just sounds like no woman wants to have sex with you. So you're saying that 
no woman wants to have sex. Ever. Oh my good lord. <laughs> Something you didn't know? When you become a yoga master, you become half owl. <laughs> Who fucked up that bad? How did they do that? That, why, how? How did someone make that and be like, yes, we should put this as a massive poster on our yoga studio or gym? How did, how did no one... For example, if a woman dyes her hair brown while menstruating, then her blood will also be brown. Permanently. Some people bleach their hair, which will kill them because they are putting bleach into their bloodstream. It's fine to bleach your hair while not on your period, though, because your body is back to normal. What? What? Huh? How? What? What? I... Listen. I've been sitting here for a long time reading this, and I cannot figure out what is going on, what this means, how it would work, and where this information came from. Because I just, I can't figure it out. Firstly, I, I know for a fact bleaching your hair on your period does not kill you. Secondly, what? 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 I, mm. Uh, sir, where did you learn this? Because whoever taught it to you, or well, you probably, you probably just pulled this out of your ass. I don't know why. What was the point in this? Who? Ooh, eh, uh, hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know either. I don't know either. That, no, uh, I'm at a loss for this one. Wash your hands. I don't have gems. Yes, you do. I'm not a boy. She has a point. <laughs> boy germs? Disgusting. Girl germs are just sugar and spice and everything nice and they don't exist. Only boys have germs. Do, <laughs> do you remember that? Like, I remember the cheese touch, but there was also boy germs where like, if, a boy like touch your shoulder you'd like oh boy gems and then you pass it on anyone else do that at school i feel like surely that's like an international universal thing that happens at school is boy gems uh only boys have gems obviously girls do not have gems facts <laughs> uh okay i am going to end it there because that's a good light note to end it on after the nightmare of what we just went through in summary don't listen to men talking about female bodies because they don't know what they're on. Uh, also, masturbation is good. Toys are good. Sex is good. Or it can be. Up to you. Only you get to decide. Whatever works for you is fine. Do you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. A massive thank you to my Kiwi Fruit and Kiwi Bird channel members whose names are up on the screen right now. And a huge thank you to my channel member of the day, Roxy. I love and appreciate you so, so much. Thank you so much for joining. If you would like to become a channel member, you can click the little blue join button or the link in the description. You get my videos a day early, as well as 10% off my shop at thequeerkiwi.com slash shop. And as a Kiwi Bird member, you also get a little bit of bonus footage that doesn't make it into my videos. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Uh, we had some, we had some good, there was some stuff said that we discussed. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, thequeerkiwi, and Twitter, thatkuakiwi. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe, keep fighting, I love you. Mwah! <laughs> and when you close your eyes, you play.